Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I own the Water Filter eStore and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about insider secrets, inside knowledge about uh, ultraviolet disinfection systems. Did you ever think about if you, if, you, if you had the secrets, if you had the inside knowledge, if you knew what the pros knew about a certain topic, couldn't you make a better investment decision? Well, absolutely, and that's what this is all about today. Investing in an ultraviolet disinfection system for your family to make sure your water's bacteria free and safe so no one gets sick. So the first thing you have to consider is uh, wherever you're purchasing this equipment from, you have to deal with someone that's experienced in ultraviolet systems. Just because someone sells plumbing uh, parts and, uh, or a big box store sells ultraviolet systems doesn't mean they're experienced, doesn't mean they're gonna be able to answer any questions or help you figure out which model is the right one for you. Um, the water chemistry is critical for deciding on your ultraviolet light. Ultra, every ultraviolet light has pretreatment requirements. In other words, um, there has to be a certain level of iron, less than a certain level of iron, a certain level of hardness has, is, is the maximum that you can have. Um, UVT, um, tannins, all these other things affect the performance of your ultraviolet light. So you, all those things need to be checked before you invest in an ultraviolet light. So you need to invest uh, with a water treatment professional, someone that can test your water and give you the straight goods about which one is right for you based on your situation. The UVT, I mentioned that earlier, that's ultraviolet transmittance. And again, you need to consider that in terms of sizing. The more discoloration that's in your water, the lower your UVT. In other words, the lower your water's ability to transmit ultraviolet light. So because of that, you need a bigger UVT, a bigger um, ultraviolet system, one with a higher flow rate to compensate for that. And then you also get to a certain level of UVT percentage that's just too high that an ultraviolet light won't work at all. So again, that's something you definitely need to have checked out if there's any discoloration in your water. If your water is perfectly clear, your UV per UVT percentage will be just fine. The other thing you need to do is think about the flow rates. Water, um, ultraviolet lights are sized by flow rate. So uh, this one here, for example, is good for six gallons per minute flow rate, but you need to oversize that. So if you already have six gallons per minute flow rate coming for your pump, putting in a six gallon per minute flow rate ultraviolet light is the bare minimum. If you oversize it, that way you allow for if there's any discoloration in your water in the future or something changes in the future, it's a safety factor. You don't want to be investing in an ultraviolet light just to find out that you undersized it and now you're putting your family at risk. Installation is uh, critical in deciding on an ultraviolet light. This ultraviolet light, for example, can be mounted vertically, which is always the preferred way to mount an ultraviolet light, but also horizontally. And in a crawl space, um, that's a very important uh, feature. Um, that if, if you don't have the space to mount it vertically, then you have to go to a, a horizontal one. And of these ones that I'm showing here, this is the only one that can be mounted um, horizontally. This is a typical installation of an ultraviolet light. As you can see, it's mounted vertically. It has the pre-filter, et cetera. And uh, if, if you're in a very tight situation, this gives you lots of flexibility, okay? And then we have a mini rack type system like this one, where there's a connection in and a connection out. That's it. So this one is much, much easier to install than this one or this one. So you have to kind of decide on your situation. And to be honest, if you, if you priced each of the components individually, this one is actually less money too. So whenever possible, try to go with a mini rack system, easier to install and easier to service in the future. But if you don't have the space, then you have to look at one of these other ones. For the mini rack, you have to allow, again, at least this height of ultraviolet light bulb has to be allowed above it when it comes time to change the bulb. Um, made in Canada. There's some great, all of these ones that I'm showing you here today are all made in Canada. And there's some great ultraviolet products uh, made in Canada. So um, to go to the made in USA ones or made in China or, or wherever, it really doesn't make any sense because they're really competitively priced, well made, WQA and NSF certified. So definitely stay with a made in Canada product. Easily serviced, okay? So all of them come with manuals. How easy are the manuals to understand? Not so much. So because you're only servicing them once a year, it's easy to forget from one year to the next how to do the servicing. Um, on our GaryTheWaterGuy.com uh, YouTube channel, um, we have videos that show you how to replace the bulbs and service all of these ultraviolet systems. So make sure you check that out. 
um, unnecessary features. There's some brands out there of uh, ultraviolet systems, the, the premium brands if you like, that have little LED lights that show you that the light is working, LED light that shows you that the ballast is working, and all these other kinds of things. Those, are, those can be quite problematic. And uh, so be careful when choosing one of those. First of all, the initial investment is a lot higher. And secondly, when it comes time to replace the ballast, and every ballast will need to be replaced someday, the replacement cost for those ones with the individual little green LEDs, very, very expensive. So keep that in mind when you're investing in an ultraviolet light. Um, make sure you, you, you deal with someone that, that's an established dealer, okay? Um, plumbers do a great job at installing uh, ultraviolet lights, water softeners, all kinds of other water treatment equipment. The problem is, because they're not working with these products on a day in, day out basis, they may not understand what's best for you. So if you deal with an established water treatment dealer, whether it's online or whether it's face-to-face -face in a store type situation, is always the best. Working with some guy out of the back of his truck um, that's here today, gone tomorrow, may not be the best choice. In this area, there was a guy a few years ago that came around and sold a lot of uh, ultraviolet systems to a lot of people. Well, the company, the, the equipment he sold it from is out of business and no one can get the replacement lamps anymore. So now they have to replace the whole thing. Definitely not where you want to end up in this whole thing. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe <laughs> please click the subscribe button. And that way you'll be notified about all the new videos as they become available on this channel. There's also lots of other great uh, videos on the GaryTheWaterGuy.com YouTube channel. If you want some more information about these products, please go to our website at TheWaterFilterEstore.com or TheWaterStoreMidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from The Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.